So, Justin, what have we been up to? Good question, Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our next adventure. This is Justin and I am Shannon. We are off to try and find a sailboat. We moved in our glorious camper from Durango, Colorado down to just uh, around the Galveston, Texas area to try and find adventure. Uh, it's 5.30 in the morning and we're on a ferry. We're on our way to Corpus Christi to go look at some sailboats. We've got five hours of driving to go look at three sailboats. What do we got? An Endeavor, a Nicholson, and an Ericsson? Ericsson, yeah. All of them were completely different from one another, which was... A massive learning experience. Um, we started with a, a 1973, it's a Nicholson 35, which online I was really in love with. Um, I really just loved the look of it. I loved the stability of it. I loved it's a true blue water boat with a long keel. It's a nice, heavy, solid boat. Um, I was disappointed whenever we got there and I was kind of bummed by that. Like we drove to Corpus Christi to really look at this boat and we were, we were kind of let down by it and I think that kind of set us on like a downward spiral <laughs> right. for a moment just because we're like oh this is kind of a bummer this is why we came here though was to look at a boat in person because online you could completely fall in love with it mm -hmm. you never know until you actually get on something you and know, on, on paper the boat looks great it had yeah. a great pedigree yeah. it already sailed to new zealand and back it yeah. had been customized quite a bit to single-handed to low-handed sailing but ultimately what it came down to is it wasn't the right boat for us. Yeah, we walked and aboard and we knew right away. It yeah. just was... Like it's going to be the right boat for someone, it's mm -hmm. just not the right boat for us. And another great thing about having the broker there and going through a broker was he kind of recognized that fairly quickly. Yeah. And was like, all right, well, let's go take a look at this one. Let's kind of shift our priorities a little bit. Which paid off in the end because the next morning we met him and headed out to uh, a private dock out on... Padre. on Padre and you know a boat that isn't even really for sale yet he's just working on it the owner is thinking about selling it uh, and we were in love with the boat before we stepped aboard we we saw it I had even pointed it out as we're walking down the dock I'm like ooh, look at that one that one's like it has a bow spread <laughs> it has a bow spread that's your kryptonite <laughs> uh, and you know just beautiful yeah. lines looking good and and then as soon as Shannon steps aboard, she walks down the companionway, and you could see it just yeah. this was the boat. This was the one we right. wanted. It felt right. Um, and we spent we spent a good hour, hour and a half, just walking around. You know, by the end of it, we were just trying to come up with. We hope the guy wants to sell it. And I know. So yeah, we've still got plenty of options. There's, a, I mean, there's definitely lots of boats still in this area. We haven't exhausted our search of southern Texas or even up along the lakes up by Dallas, like uh, Lake Texoma and things like that. And so. even if we do feel like we've exhausted our search and we just start coming up dead end and dead end, we just pick up the trailer and go somewhere else. We head east. Probably. We head to New Orleans. That kind of seems right. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll just head to New Orleans. There's boats there. Yeah. Till next time. On. Our next adventures. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs>